Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking toners. My absolute favorite skincare subject. Now, you know I am obsessive and passionate about hydrating toners. It is one of my favorite skincare products, and recently I just tried five brand new ones, and um, I'm here to share all my opinions and thoughts about them with you. One of them, I might even venture to say, is one of my brand new favorites, so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to find out which one it was. If you're so ready to find out about five new hydrating toners, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So first, let's talk about the Manyo Bifida Biome Ampule Toner. Now, I am actually a fan of the ampule or the serum within this line. Um, I did cover it in a this or that episode. I believe it was episode 21, so definitely check that out. That was a winner, um, so I really like that product, and uh, I recently started using the toner from this line. Now, Bifida Ferment Lysate is a great fermented ingredient that really helps to strengthen your skin barrier. It's very gentle, but very strengthening for for your skin and just overall great for skin health. Now some other great ingredients in here include ceramide NP, we have panthenol, a couple forms of hyaluronic acid, and we also have the hydrating trio of ingredients called aquaxel. These are sugar binding molecules. They're very, very hydrating for the skin. So everything just like on paper sounds really amazing about this toner. It also comes in a jumbo um, value size. It's a 400 milliliter bottle. You know I love that because I go through my toner so fast, so I find a lot of value in bigger sizes. So let's talk texture because this is a very watery, thin type of texture. This doesn't have body to it. It doesn't have like a slipperiness to it at all. It really does feel um, very much like water on the skin. It's something that you can absolutely layer up a couple times onto your skin without building up any stickiness or thickness or just like that really odd feeling on your skin when you know you've put too much on or it's just building up kind of weird. It's got a really pleasing, very lightweight texture. Any skin type is going to en enjoy this. It absorbs very quickly into the skin with like no weight whatsoever. So let me tell you about my experience using this toner because I've used about half of the bottle. Um, I'm very familiar with the effects of this toner on my skin and I think first and foremost what I noticed about this after a few weeks is that my skin just looked a little bit clearer, um, maybe a little bit smoother, maybe a little bit brighter. Like it just had like a little bit more um, of a healthier, clearer look to it and that is because this toner does contain a very small amount of PHA which is like a very gentle form of AHA. It does have the ability to help refine the top surface of the skin, helping with texture, and also helping to shed away any excessive dead skin cells on the skin. What I did notice with this toner though, and one of the reasons I was able to use it for a really long time, but ultimately, um, it didn't really make a huge impression on me besides like clearer skin is great. That's a, that's a great um, benefit. But when it comes to a hydrating toner, I need my toner to be hydrating. And I just don't feel that this is hydrating. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this is, it's very thin, it's very watery, but it doesn't have that sensation of diving deeper into the skin and really replenishing it. Now this is me talking from the standpoint of having chronically dehydrated skin. My skin is a thirsty AF monster and it needs as much hydration as it can possibly get. So please know that like I am speaking from a very picky, if you will, standpoint. Um, this toner, I think for a majority of people who don't suffer with a lot of dehydration are going to find this amply hydrating for them, but it's just not the most hydrating toner out there in my personal opinion. But again, like I use up like half of the bottle um, with without much complaints. It serves my skin well, but when those periods of real dehydration come in or when my skin is really needing a good base of deep hydration, like this isn't it. And to be honest with you now, I've struck out, I don't, I wouldn't say like I struck out with this toner because like I used half of it. I'm going to use the rest of it, um, but it didn't make the biggest impression on me. And um, I have used another toner from Manio, a part of the Heartleaf line. And I felt similarly um, that it was nice, but it wasn't enough for my skin. And I really do feel like Manio is formulating their products a little bit more with oily skin types in mind. So this toner 
generally works well for me, but like I said, if my skin needs more, if I'm feeling more dehydrated, it's just not performing completely for me. So this is nice. I'm going to use it up completely. This is something that I wholeheartedly would suggest for those of you who do have more oily or normal or balanced skin types, or even if you're combo and oily, and you're not suffering with a lot of dehydration, your skin isn't the thirstiest, but you do benefit from some additional hydration in your routine. This is a beautiful formulation. This kept my skin bright. It kept it clear and smooth. Um, a really, really lovely toner, but maybe not the very best for dehydrated skin. Next, let's talk ABIB, Heart Leaf Calming Toner Skin Booster. Now, this is another product where I first tried the Ampule in the line, enjoyed it a lot, and then moved on to the toner. So the Heart Leaf Ampule from ABIB was actually featured in This or That episode 22. Um, so definitely go back in the This or That archives. There's some really great products in there. And I really enjoyed that serum, and that's kind of what made me want to try out the toner next, because you may know that that the star ingredient here, heart leaf, is one of my favorite ingredients I've been talking about for so many years, which is H. cordata extract. Now, I have found that this ingredient just suits my skin so, so well. Again, sensitive skin, but I am prone to breakouts and inflammation, and heart leaf is the perfect ingredient for that because it's a wonderful antibacterial ingredient, but it's also an anti-inflammation ingredient. And that is really the key uh, for sensitive skin that's breaking out. You really gotta tackle that inflammation. You really have to calm it down. It is not really stripping. It doesn't take uh, oil away. It doesn't control your sebum at all. So I think it's actually appropriate for all skin types and just a really wonderful clarifying type of ingredient for the skin. So there's some other um, goodies in here. We have panthenol. Um, we also have xylitol. Now that is actually one of the three ingredients in the trio aquaxel that I talked about earlier. Those are the um, sugar the sugar molecules that bind water to your skin, they're very hydrating. Xylitol is just one of those three ingredients. Um, it's great to have all three, but even just one of them really kind of helps to amp up the hydration powers of whatever is in the formula itself. And then this also has a little bit of centella extract in it too, to really kind of help boost up the anti-inflammation and soothing abilities of heart leaf. The texture here is pretty similar to Manyo. We do have a very runny, watery type of toner texture. There's no bond Body. Um, there's not really a slip that I can um, detect with this. It is um, just very much like a watery, layerable type of toner. So my experience testing this toner out, this definitely helps to soothe breakouts. I've definitely noticed its ability to soothe inflammation and reduce redness on the skin. But you know, in um, comparison to the Manu toner that we just talked about that had a similar effect on my skin, I feel like the heart leaf was a little bit more subtle. It didn't get as much of like that really bright, healthy look to my skin, but I definitely noticed when my skin was breaking out, this helped to, re to really soothe the pimples, right? To help calm them down. And that is its own benefit in and of itself. I do kind of have that similar sensation that I got with Manio though, where it's like, it's just not quite enough. Like I'm always searching for that unicorn among all the hydrating toners. Um, and so I can be extremely picky and I'm always kind of like, I'm kind of always like warning you about it. I'm always kind of like maybe even slightly apologizing because I know how picky it can be and everybody's skin is really different. I do find the hydration levels on this to be more than Manio um, and I found them to be suitable for when I wasn't like extremely dehydrated. Um, this is like a great toner for those types of times. I think this is going to be great for oily skin. I think it's going to be great for combo skin, normal skin, balanced skin. I think that it really uh, plays well with all skin types quite honestly and it does just nudge ahead of manual hydration wise. So if like manual sounded kind of good, but like maybe you want a little bit more, you know, hydration, this might be the better choice for you. I feel like they do similar things on the skin. Again, they have slightly different points of view, but similar enough um, where I feel comfortable recommending this as an alternative to manual if you want just a little bit more, just a little bit more hydration um, with your skin. I think that this ABIB will definitely deliver a really, really nice tone. Next, let's talk about Isntree Comfortable Magnesium Toner. Now, this is first and foremost a jumbo size value toner, 500 milliliters. 
my heart flutters. <laughs> I love a good jumbo toner. Size is great, but what's inside is what really counts. And what's really striking about this ingredients list is how short it is. And it is really geared towards those who have sensitive skin or who are going through bouts of sensitized or irritated skin. Now, the main ingredient here is a little bit different. It's magnesium. Um, and maybe not something you're expecting in your skincare products. I don't think that there's been like a huge boom of magnesium skincare, but it is actually a fantastic ingredient for inflammation. Now, if you've ever done an Epsom salt soak after like a really hard workout or a swim or you're very athletic, you know that Epsom salts, the main ingredient in there, magnesium, really helps to soothe sore inflamed muscles and it can be really, really helpful if you have like achy joints. I have imbibed in many an Epsom salt soak. I absolutely love them and they really do work some magic on really helping to relax uh, inflamed muscles. And so that's kind of the same thing that it does for your skin. It is a really great anti-inflammation ingredient. It's used a lot for treating like psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, you know, the big three, um, but it is just a very soothing um, type of ingredient to soothe inflammation on any type of irritated skin. So that's really where the magnesium comes in. A secondary benefit to magnesium that might be helpful for those with oily skin is it does uh, show some abilities to control sebum on the skin. And some people do report when using magnesium that it actually helps to lessen acne breakouts. And it really is uh, due to its ability to kind of help regulate sebum on the skin when there's not as much oil being produced, it's less likely to get trapped into your pores and create pimples. So magnesium, uh, a couple of different benefits there, but really the point of view of this toner is just really to calm down irritated skin. This is watery, it's light, it's thin, but once you get it onto your face, you feel the difference here between the other two products that I was talking about earlier. This has that fullness to it. This has the diver, diving deep quality to it. This has the replenishing effect that I'm always seeking. Again, it's that unicorn effect among a lot of hydrating toners. When your skin needs needs a little bit more, um, you really do need that effect. And that's exactly what this toner brings. I was so surprised because it is so thin. It is so, there's no body, there's no slip, there's no moisture, there's there's nothing you know to it. So I was expecting something to be not enough for my skin. But when I first got it on, it was like immediately, like it just went, whew, all my pores just got filled and rushed with hydration. I love that sensation. Hello from the future. I have to interrupt this review because I'm about to tell you my experience using this isn't tree toner. And I'm about to say one of those things where it's like you try it and you're in love with it at first. And then a few weeks down the road, you're like, wait a second. I think it's not agreeing with my skin, but I am not sure. And I need more time. Well, more time has passed. I need to insert this clip into the video because I hate leaving you guys hanging. I have to tell you, this isn't Tree Comfortable Magnesium Toner feels amazing on application, but this is dehydrating my skin in the long run. Magnesium, as we discussed earlier, does have that sebum controlling ability. Now my skin is combination, but quite frankly, at the tail end of winter, beginning of spring, it's not really all that oily. It's a little bit closer to dry, and I am very prone to dehydration. Any little uh, extra oil that I do have on my skin, to have that taken away by magnesium, I think is not a good thing for me personally. That little bit of moisture was helping my skin stay in balance. Without it, transepidermal water loss was occurring, therefore the dehydrated feeling. So unfortunately, it really sucks because when I first started using this, I was like, this is gonna be my new favorite toner. Um, I really, really, really liked it, but unfortunately, I just can't ignore the fact that this is kind of backfiring on my skin with that particular ingredient. So unfortunately, this is not my holy grail toner, although I really do like it. And I would recommend this with reservations for those who do have excessive oil on the skin because the magnesium, the oil controlling properties are probably gonna be amazing for you. But if you're a little bit more like me with you can't really spare the moisture on your skin, this ingredient may not be the best match for you. So had to update you, had to tell you, I know now this one 
not for me. Next, let's talk another is Intrigue product. This is the Yam Root Vegan Milk Toner. So ingredient wise, we do have rice, oat, and coconut extracts, which in and of themselves do bring moisture and balance to the skin, but they are not overly emollient ingredients. You know, if you've ever tried rice products, you know that they bring that, that softness and that, that, that subtle moisture to the skin, but they don't have an oiliness to them. Um, they don't have an extreme richness that is overwhelming for the skin. And that's very very much true of oat and coconut as well. Now there's three different types of oils in here, including meadow foam, macadamia, and sunflower oil. Now, when I was reading some of the copy for the marketing of this product, they do talk about lipid water. They've done something with the oils um, and created like a water type of, of uh, solution, <laughs> I think is the word I'm looking for. It is watery, but also milky. It definitely has that kind of skim milk type of texture because it's not like really, really silky or really, really creamy. It doesn't have as much of a thickness to it as maybe some other moisturizing toners that you might've encountered in the past. I was actually surprised. I was thinking this was going to be a lot thicker than it was, um, but it's definitely um, a little bit of a more of, like I said, like a skim milk versus like a whole milk type of experience experience. I could not believe that there was three types of oils in here because you don't get that richness. You don't get that slip. You don't feel that type of moisture on the skin. It doesn't leave you greasy. You don't get like a shininess from it. And what was really like mind blowing to me about this is how easy it is to layer onto the skin. You know, I love a good moisturizing toner and I frequently build them into my skincare routines, but I usually find that I can't layer them. Um, or I can't layer them as much as I would with like more of that really watery type of toner, like what we've talked about already in the video. I find that they just don't layer well on my skin type. That's when things start to get a little bit funky in the texture. It starts to get a little greasy on top. Um, it starts to get a little thick. And um, I didn't feel that with this at all. I have layered this up to three times on my skin without getting any type of sensation like that at all. This can be my main toner. This can be my moisturizing toner. This can kind of take an essence spot for me. I've actually been finding this is like simplifying things for me a lot recently because I have been trying to use like a lighter weight uh, toner type of product and then I'll do like a creamier essence or more moisturizing additional toner. Um, I can just use this. This layers up. I get as much hydration as I need from it, but it also gives me the balancing moisture, but it doesn't overwhelm my skin, but it plays well with all my other products that I like to use, like serums and oils and creams and all of that. Like it just works. I really wish we could do some type of like sensory type of experience. Like you could just reach through the screen and feel the texture of this right now, because you will be so surprised at how light and watery it is. And my skin is so surprised at how light and watery it is. My skin is so surprised at how hydrating it is. It's just the right balance. So this is something that completely like exceeded my expectations. What I thought this was going to be, it wasn't. It was something completely different, but my skin is really benefiting from it. All right, next let's talk about the Hada Labo Goku Jun Premium Lotion. This is actually a very um, cult classic type of product in the J Beauty space. The Goku Jun line from um, Hada Labo, very, very popular. And that line really focuses in on hyaluronic acid. Um, the original one does. Now the premium really kind of like takes it up a notch. So we do have hyaluronic acid in here but we just have seven different kinds and they're all at different molecular weights, which is really important. If you are seeking for um, hyaluronic focused products, you really do want to look for different varieties of hyaluronic acid within the ingredients list because just the word hyaluronic acid, just that molecule is actually a very, very big molecule that is not very efficient at penetrating deeply within the skin. It actually sits um, really close to the surface of the skin. Um, and that's why it's some sometimes not the most hydrating ingredient that you can use. Um, but within this formula, they're using different molecular weights. So that means some of the, the molecules are chopped up and they're made smaller, meaning they can actually penetrate deeper into the skin and give you a, a deeper, more meaningful hydrating effect to your skin. But really what makes this premium in my mind is the addition of urea. Now, you know, I absolutely love this ingredient. I talk about it a lot, but it is 
not super common to find in skincare products. I don't know why, because it's actually an amazing natural moisturizing factor for your skin. Natural moisturizing factor, skin identical. They help to um, hold hydration into your skin. They also help to support the overall function of your skin barrier, and they're just really crucial for skin health. All right, let's talk texture because this is thick. It's got body yachty for days. OMG. Now, because there's a good amount of hyaluronic acid in here, you get the hydration factor, um, but it actually feels moisturizing and balancing on the skin. I've noticed that a lot about hyaluronic acid heavy products. You don't get that watery sensation. It's more of a balance on the skin. And if you do have combination skin that is imbalanced, it feels really, really good. Your skin will just plump up with juiciness. It feels amazing. Um, and it leaves your skin feeling like really soft at the surface as well. That moisture, again, it's not a greasy, it's not overly rich, not a really shiny type of moisture. Um, it just, uh, it's just that little bit that really helps to balance out the skin. Maybe a tiny bit tacky um, on the skin before you put something else over it. Uh, after that, no problems whatsoever. But that is kind of one of the, the things with hyaluronic acid that we just accept. It does have a little bit of a sticky type of texture. There is a calming effect to this. And I don't know if it's like that balancing moisture that you're getting with the texture, because that always seems to be like a really good match for my skin type. Um, or if it really is the urea at play here, which is an ingredient that I've had a ton of success with in the past for my sensitive skin. Or maybe it's just both coming together and they're really just um, helping each other out so much and really just like bringing double benefits to the skin. So there's a really beautiful ah, soothing, calming hug of plumpness to this that I absolutely adore. I didn't think I was going to like it because I have to say the original, you know, I was talking about the original Goku John with the blue label. I wasn't really a big fan of, but I'm a really big fan of the premium. It's just the right kind of upgrades that really suit my skin. So this is also like a, a new fave, a surprising new fave of mine. I've been reaching for this a lot. So are any of these toners my brand new faves? Yeah, I have to say the yam root toner from Isntree is really blowing me away. My skin is benefiting from it so much. And, you know, I usually don't use moisturizing toners as my main toners, but like this one doubles as both um, and is really, really helpful. And, you know, I have to say the Hot Labo Premium Lotion, which, you know, I uh, named as a March favorite. So you already know I'm kind of obsessed with it and it's, it is a fave. Um, but this is something I've been reaching for so much just because of that plump skin effect. I cannot get enough of it. I love it so much. So I hope that all of these reviews helped you out. Maybe you picked out your new um, hydrating toner that you're going to try out. So if you're using a toner right now, um, let me know which one it is because you know, don't, don't enable me, but also like enable me. I want to know what toners you're using. And um, if this video was helpful to you, you made it all the way through, but you haven't hit subscribe yet. Hey, I would love it if you would join our community. I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one. I focus on Korean products, sensitive products. Um, I really love skincare. So if you do as well, please uh, hit subscribe and uh, turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.